Hello, and welcome to State of the Arts, a series dedicated to highlighting different art and cultural events happening here in Tucson and Southern Arizona. I'm your host, Lauren Roth. As you can see, we've made it here to Catalyst, the Southern Arizona Arts and Cultural Alliance's creative space. And we're here to learn more about the Oro Valley Festival of the Arts. The Oro Valley Festival of the Arts and Holiday Tree Lighting Celebration has been a Southern Arizona staple for the last 13 years. The festival is known for its one-of-a-kind seasonal items, handcraft goods, and holiday cheer. With crowds of 30,000 people and with over 125 artisans, the two-day festival is one of the largest holiday arts celebrations. This year, visitors can expect local performances, food trucks, family art activities, and even a visit from Santa himself. Joining me now is Matt Rowland, who's the Director of Programs at the Southern Arizona Arts and Cultural Alliance. Thanks for speaking with me today, yeah, Matt. Thanks for being here, Lauren. Um, tell me a little bit about where we find ourselves. I believe this is called Catalyst. And what is this room about in this space? How does it tie into the Oral Valley Festival of the Arts and Holiday Tree Celebration? So Catalyst, this is our, our home base here. We're in Tucson Mall. Uh, we moved here in 2019, but SACA, as we all call our organization, we started in Oral Valley as the Greater Oral Valley Arts Council, GOVAC, many years ago. And it's been our pleasure and privilege to partner with the town uh, for many years now to present a holiday festival and a tree lighting festival. Um, and so we get to move our operations from here up to Oral Valley the first week in December and set up shop. Great, tell me a little bit about what we will find when we go. Well, the festival, if you haven't been, it's, it's a great time, a great weekend to shop for holiday gifts, to meet artists from all over the Southwest, and just to ring in the holidays. We have a, a main stage performance with over 300 performers that come. So it features community choirs, uh, youth ensembles, professional jazz ensembles. Uh, it's a really great mix of live music, 150 artisans. Um, so they're spread out throughout the Oral Valley Marketplace. And you can find a little bit of everything, fine art painting, sculpture, uh, ornaments, holiday gifts, kind of the whole price range. Um, and you get to meet the artist face-to-face, one-on-one. It's all the artists there that make the work. Uh, and so on top of all of that, lots of kids' activities and fun family activities too. What do you think makes this Festival of the Arts um, unique and sort of what does it bring to the community? What strikes me is how many different parts of the community come together at this event. So we have the, the safety community, we have the Golder Ranch Fire um, Department, the Oro Valley Police Department, they come out, they do free photos with Santa, they we present a parade, the high schools are involved, so Ironwood Ridge comes out with their marching band and the Santa procession comes out, Santa comes in from the North Pole for the event, and, uh, but we also have the Oro Valley Youth Council, the Parks and Recreation, um, a lot of different community groups are all coming together to celebrate the holidays, ring in the holidays, and of course it's all to support the artists and, and uh, give them a good weekend. I hear that there is something called the Tuba Fest. Tuba Christmas. Tuba Christmas. Yeah. Explain Tuba Christmas to us. I'm dying to hear. This is the only place in Arizona you can hear Tuba Christmas, and it's a, it's a nationwide gathering, and it meets every year at the Oro Valley Holiday Festival of the Arts. Over 80 tubas and euphonium players come together. It's led by a U, U of A uh, music professor, and so they bring, come together. They all rehearse that day, decked out in their best holiday sweaters, of course, and they play holiday carols, and you get to sing along to tubas and euphonium. Is anybody welcome? Absolutely anyone. So you can sign up online. If you search tuba Christmas, if you play tuba, if you play euphonium, um, you can register and then they'll give you the rehearsal site and then you show up and learn the music and you get to play along. If you're not a tuba player, I myself am not a tuba player, you can come along and it's a sing along. Okay. Or you can become a tuba player one, once every 365 days perhaps. Mm -hmm. Twice actually, it's two days long, isn't it? Um, what is one of your favorite parts about the Oral Valley Festival of the Arts and Holiday Tree Celebration? 
For me, I love seeing the live performances. Uh, I mean, the visual arts are always amazing, best artists, artisans you can see anywhere. Uh, but we have a lot of different performances spread throughout the festival. So we have Red Herring Puppets does a free holiday puppet show on Saturday. We have uh, some performance artists from Studio Create come. They have a Winter Wonderland photo backdrop, so you can meet the live performer, take a photo with them. Uh, we have uh, the Oral Valley Youth Council, they do games and arts and crafts activities there. So there's a lot of hands-on, unique performances you only see one time, and they're really, they're designed to be in that place. Thank you so much for speaking with me today about this. We all look forward to that first weekend in December. Yeah, we'll see you there. The Oral Valley Festival of the Arts and Holiday Tree Lighting Celebration will be held Saturday and Sunday, December 2nd and 3rd at the Oral Valley Marketplace. Admission is completely free, so bring all your friends and family. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Lauren Roth, and we'll see you again next time on State of the Arts.